Earlier today, we got a chance to ask Mayor Fry point blank if he's going to veto this ordinance. He wouldn't say. He's caught between a desire to boost wages for workers and, on the other side, threats from the companies to leave the city. Whether you're in the North Loop or downtown, Uber and Lyft are everywhere these days. Right, yeah, 100%. Chris yeah, Andreen uses rideshare service once or twice a week. Hitting a, a nice old bar after after work or something like that and not wanting to drive home. But now that the city council passed an ordinance boosting driver wages and protections, Uber and Lyft have threatened to reduce service or leave Minneapolis entirely. That would suck. I'd have to find somewhere closer to home. Mayor really Jacob Fry says he understands the, the perspectives right of both the workers and the companies. We support making sure that these drivers get paid more money. Uh, they've earned it. At the same time, we got to be doing some smart and good governance. We need to make sure that the policies that we're passing are smart, they're thoughtful, and they're worked out ahead of time. He has until Wednesday to approve or veto the council's ordinance. Are you going to veto at this point? We're going to be reviewing the policy first, uh, figuring out what works and what doesn't, and we'll make a decision from there. Do you think the ride-sharing companies are serious when they say they'll pull out of Minneapolis? Hey, look, I, I, I talk to them directly. Uh, I don't want to speak for the ride-sharing companies. There is some precedent for this. In 2018, New York City became the first city in the U.S. to set a minimum wage for Uber and Lyft drivers, and in 2021, Seattle followed. The companies fought both of those proposals and warned of price hikes, but ultimately still operate there. Whatever, I just, I, I hope they stay here. That's all I gotta say. If the mayor does veto the ordinance, the council would have the opportunity to override that veto. However, they would need nine votes for an override and today as you heard only seven council members voted in favor of that measure. Randy